Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Ty Larius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. So I want to make a quick little money guide and tutorial for you guys involving the triple money that we have going on right now with the Hot Ring, the Issy Classic, and the RC Bandito races. Guys, listen, do not sleep on this. Take advantage of this. This is really, really good money. All right. And this video is definitely kind of you know geared to helping out the people who have really not raced in this game okay first of all you can do this solo and make really good money you don't even have to race against anybody and this is great practice okay just set up a hot ring circuit a IC classic or a rc bandito race i recommend a hot ring circuit to get kind of uh used to it a little bit here um, now, if you look at the distance on the on the right hand corner of the actual screen right there, it says three miles. With the hot ring cars, it's about a minute and a half per mile. So set it to about three laps if it's a three mile race, and you want the race to be around five minutes, four to five, four to six in that range. And even by yourself, just kind of getting the lay of the land, checking these out, you can make good money. You don't have to have a custom vehicle to race by yourself. However, you do have to have your own personal vehicle to be competitive, and I will show you what that looks like here in just a minute. Now, as you see, I'm just going around the track. If you look at the time down below, 4 minutes and 27 seconds, all by myself. Just checking these out, getting these done. 4 minutes, 27 seconds, I made $15,000 in 5,300 RP, all right? Now, the RC Bandito, it's on sale right now for $1,113,000. The Hot Ring Saber, 539000 But the move to make is the Issy Classic. You can get it for 216000 right now this week. And that's the cheapest of the bunch. Definitely, though, if you're going to do this and be competitive, you have to customize it. Uh, a few things I recommend. Put off-road tires on to help out with curb clipping. And make sure you... I would definitely uh, upgrade the armor because you're doing a lot of these stunt races. You'd be banging around on the track and you don't want the car to get damaged and take away from your time. So fully upgrade the armor, okay? Of course, all the performance as well. Now, the stunt races are double money. They're okay, but they're not going to be paying out as much. As you see right here, with uh, first place getting 31000 at four and a half minutes, I got third place on this one. I made 13000 Still good RP, though, but it's not going to be the same as the triple money that's going on right now with with the above three and to be honest with the stunt races now if you don't have a devastate eight uh you know you you'll be kind of catching up that's really the better car to use right now for the stunt races now as you see right here i'm doing a regular standard race uh in a hot ring circuit i'm going against a bunch of uh randos i had some crew members in here as well you got to be careful though with the randos you see right here um you know if you don't have if you don't have uh, basically the non-contact option selected, you're going to get a lot of people just kind of trolling and griefing and messing around. So I'll show you guys that here a little bit later on in the video, how to get all the settings set up. But I was sitting pretty first place. That guy couldn't, you know, whatever. But look at this right here. Eight minutes, I made $112,000 and 32,430 RP. That is incredible. Now, if you're going to be doing these races, I recommend if you want to get public, uh, you know, lobbies and a bunch of randos in there, I recommend no less than 10 people. I mean, you want to get about 15 to 16 to max out that amount of money right there, but I wouldn't do these with no less than 10 people, okay? Now, and remember, before you start racing, go fill up all of your passive income. Go fill up your bunker, you know, buy supplies for the bunker, the MC businesses, all that stuff right there. I think we had like, um, we, had, we had almost a full lobby in here. Okay, so that is incredible money right there. And what I found out is that a lot of people do not have custom hot ring uh, cars or RC Banditos or, um, you know, uh, the SC Classics. So uh, if you, as you see right here, six minutes and 48 seconds, I made $69,000 and 2400 or 24,000 RP. And we only had like 10 or 12 people in there. So that was a really good run right there, good money. And like I said, you know, you don't have to come in first place all the time. Just consistently racing these and getting in the top five with the triple money, you're making good money. Even if you don't get top five, you're still making decent money. All right. I mean, this is an opportunity right here to make about eight hundred thousand dollars per hour. You get a couple of wins in your belt. As you see, these races are about, I'd say, on average, about seven, six, seven minutes, and on average, you're making about seventy grand. You know what I mean? So you have a really good opportunity to make some decent cash. You see right here, I finished third. 
Nine minutes and 52 seconds, $46,000. The first place guy got 112000 I mean, so you're killing it. You're making some great money. If you do these races like so and you get first place, right, takes up 10 minutes on one of those races. What is use that for example? Okay, you make 112000 Per hour, you're making, you know, almost $700,000 on the race alone, not including your passive income that's cooking the background. All right, so you can be making some serious cash on this. And again, you don't have to finish first all the time, but it, obviously it does help out. Right here, 9 minutes, 52 seconds, only had 12 people in here, 24,705 RP, $86,370. Plus I got a couple grand for betting as well. All right, so you can seriously make some good cash on this, guys. Do not sleep on this. All right, again, um, you know, you can do this solo. You are, you're not going to make this kind of money, obviously. But like you just saw a minute ago, I made some actually pretty good cash. It didn't take that much time, and you can get some practice doing that. Now, this right here, I turned the custom vehicles off, so everybody has a stock rc bandito and this is a triple money the rc bandito races are actually really fun these are really cool to do they're not you know crazy technical they're just kind of fun your little remote control car and everyone's having fun now again i'm not a pro racer i'm not claiming to be but i do have a lot of races under my belt so i understand a few of the mechanics and things like that and just like anything practice makes perfect you know when you set out to become a money grinder you know you gotta you gotta figure out what's the best way for you what you know what kind of businesses you know you have to get into that jail or whatever you don't even need to kind of like you know get into your flow your rhythm it's the same with any of this stuff you know practice makes perfect you kind of get into your rhythm and you're you're cooking right I did a lot of races last night, and I averaged about with my passive income. I was making about 800 grand per hour. I cleaned up. Now, again, that's not going to be consistent if you know you're brand new, starting out, right? But you absolutely, 100%, without a question of a doubt, have the opportunity and the potential to make that money. I mean, you're seeing it right here. There's no way that uh, that's not attainable for you, impossible to make. Now, again, you know, to be competitive in a, in a in a crowded field in a lobby, you do need to have a custom vehicle. Now, again, I'm going to show you guys here in just a moment how you can neutralize that. You know, um, if if you're, but the thing is, you have to be the host, okay? But I'll show you that in just a moment. So as you see right here, I'm finishing up this race again, four minutes and forty seconds. You know, I made sixty thousand dollars, fifty nine thousand seven hundred thirty bucks. 28,000 RP, okay, 28,560 RP. I leveled up like six times last night. It was like, well, maybe like four or five times. You know, but I'm I'm in the 700, so it takes a good bit to rank up. Uh, as you see right here, I'm doing another just regular stunt race, the old school stunt races. We switched up and put it on muscle cars instead of uh, supers, you know, just to kind of, I don't know, just to switch it up a little bit because I was hanging out with some of the crew members. And again, um, you know, decent money. These aren't going to be the best because they're only double money right now. But I made 23000 in about three minutes. I mean, come on. 14280 RP. That's not bad. But again, stick to the, the top three right here, okay? Uh, just go to online. Go to Jobs Rockstar Created. Go down to Stunt Races right here. And it's all in alphabetical order. So Hot Ring, Issy Classic, RC Bandito. Those are all going to be the ones that you want to go with, okay? Those are going to be the categories, as you see right here. Those are all going to be triple RP and triple cash money. I was making hundreds of thousands of RP last night and hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, it was crazy. Had a lot of fun. Now, this is what I want you guys to understand. If you want to control the environment, you have to host the race. It's very simple. Just like I showed you right there, go to one of the races and then the select to start it and you want to host it. And then you have options that you have. You have some settings that you have to confirm. You have the race type, which is standard or non-contact. Standard means you can crash into people. Non-contact means that they're ghosted out. You have the number of laps. The class on these will be set. You can only use the vehicles that they provide. The Hot Ring Race Car, the Issy uh, Classic Car, uh, the Issy Weenie, or the uh, RC Bandita. Time of day, traffic you want to have off, wanted levels, turn that off. Now, the custom vehicles is where you can you know, set up to where you can have custom vehicles on or off. Now, this is how you can level the playing field by turning the custom vehicles off. You do not have to have a custom vehicle. Now, it may be a little bit harder to get people into play. And you may have to wait a little bit for the lobby to load up and fill up. But, you know, try and get around 10 people to start out with and you'll be fine. Now, you also have the uh, camera lock. Just put that to none. 
Destroy last place helps out too. Whoever is in last place will just get blown up. So people who are trying to grief or whatever, uh, that'll take them out. And then aggregate position. If you turn that on, you win for pretty much leading the most laps or having the best consistent uh, lap times and races overall, holding the, the most consistent position, okay? That's really how that goes. Uh, again, remember, it's about a minute to a minute and a half for each lap on these. So set those accordingly. So, you know, if you... Uh, if you have like, you know, five miles or five laps on uh, for a particular race and it's got like three miles in there, you're going to be having about a 15 minute race. OK, so keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, man, that's really about it right there. So this is a great opportunity to have some fun. Try some things out for the first time that you may not have tried out before. And like I said, practice makes perfect. Get in there. You can start making some good money. Have your passive income cook in the background. And yeah, now it's not going to be consistent. I'm not saying it is, but you absolutely have the opportunity to make some seriously good cash upwards and, you know, $800,000 per hour with the passive income in there. I mean, you really can. It's some good money right there. I hope the video helped out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illus and Reels content in the game. Make sure you smash, I mean, smash that like button. Stay dangerous. Peace.